What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, Mikey? Yo, man, uh, we're, this is our first Game of Thrones Q and A. Yes, it's sad that it's over, but um, you know, we we've listened and we love doing these Q and As. So uh, here you go. Hope you uh, enjoy our responses. Absolutely. So, Mike, why don't we just go ahead, jump right in? You got question one. Sure. Oh, this guy's. Sure. This is also uh, before we start. I will say. Uh, thank you to everybody who gave us questions. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah. A lot of you guys have given us questions on our previous Q and A's, and that's awesome. So thank you for sticking with us yes. and participating in this in this video with us and sharing your thoughts. And uh, again, this is in no particular order, so yes. we're just going to jump right in. So okay, sorry, Mike. Go ahead. So first one. All right, it's one of our regulars to the channel, Michelle Coggs. Um, what she says is, she says, "Do you think we will have a Jamie Bran reunion?" in the upcoming season eight in upcoming season eight now when i read this question i was like jamie and brand i'm like wait wait what jamie and brand i'm like oh damn <laughs> since he pushed since he pushed him out the damn window yes um dang man that's that's a that's an interesting question um pr i i think i think that might be an, a very fun thing to see considering where we've seen jamie leaving cersei now so yeah that would be fun to see like but then he like he since Bran knows everything, he'd be like, "Yeah, I know you're you're you're, you're, an you're coming or something." Yeah, I know, I know you're. <laughs> yeah, all right. So uh, yeah, I don't know, man. What do you think? That'd be cool though. I I think it would definitely be cool. I think we'll see it for sure. Yes, yeah, so um, we ha we haven't seen them together since the you know the, what the first episode. I don't even think they came into contact after that after the push out the window. But yeah, I definitely think um, we'll see that. I can definitely. I feel like Bran. Um, won't really care because he is he's he's so much you know these characters have changed so much so i think that brand won't care um he'll see the redemption because he does know all so i think he'll see that uh jamie really hasn't been such a bad guy and you know what i mean so the reason well, since he, yeah maybe since yeah so it, it, listen there's other there's bigger fish to fry so um i don't necessarily think it's going to be like a oh, fuck you uh jamie kind of a thing from brand you know yeah. what i mean yeah, they're gonna probably, need his help yeah. they're gonna need his help yeah i know? yeah I, it's not it's gonna be awkward for for jamie but not for brand yeah i think he doesn't give a shit <laughs> no he doesn't give a shit <laughs> brand don't give a shit brand doesn't give a shit about anything cool all right uh yeah. so we're ready for the next question then right so uh yeah that's what we feel about that all right uh next question from our buddy john blaze uh, why was Tyrion spying around while John and Danny were getting busy? That's a good question, John Blaze. Uh, I seen this. I seen this question because we got this from a few different people. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that it's more. Listen, in Game of Thrones, relationships they don't really seem to last, especially between powerful people. Um, I think it's more he's worried about an alliance breaking or something like that. Listen, we've all. We've all been in relationships, and and we know how uh, things can can turn into uh, if God forbid they you know they they break off. So yeah. I think it's more um, uh, Tyrion worrying about um, the alliance breaking because right now he has both of what he wants with John and and uh, what should I say Aegon and um, and Daenerys' relationship. Um, I seen some things and I heard some rumblings that some people were getting a little jealous uh, that he was jealous. I don't think that's what it is at all. I just think it's more he's worried about her priorities. You know, he's the, yeah. The priority yeah. is the, of them being he's, together. Yeah, she's in, in battle. He's going to be that John Aegon is going to be uh, a distraction for her. All right, he's already maybe he's for, already, for each other. Well, you know? you know what? He's already doubting. Like he doubts, she doubts him. We know that. Mm -hmm. But he's doubting her, especially when he was like, "You have like." He's talked her down how many times? He didn't do. Obviously, when she killed the Tarleys, he couldn't talk her down. But yeah. other every other time, he's talked her down. So he's kind of like, "Well, look, she's because she's got that little bit of Mad King in her. She's got because she's a child of incest. It's, it is what yeah. it is. Sorry." You know, and and she's she's not Good the completely. Point. Plus, she's been she's been raped. She's been basically burned alive. She's been yeah. practically no, dead from dehydration. You, you know, I mean, she's yeah. been through so much. Like any normal person would be 
would have a psychosis that isn't normal at this point. But anyway, yeah, I think I think like you said, I agree with you. He's just he's just kind of like watching and seeing. It's not any. And it was it was creepy, a, a but, little bit. A little but, bit. What was he doing there in the first place is another good question. Following, like, he, he, he's not really a creep. Like, was he's he not spying, one of the or maybe he was going to go meet with Danny yeah, and I don't he know. ended up seeing John. He stumbled across John walking in, yeah. but he doesn't know. Yeah. He doesn't know. He doesn't. I, I he think, doesn't know yeah. the truth about them. Um. So I don't know. I, I, Let's. I, hey, we'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, good. I good, uh, good question. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, it's it's something like that. All right. Um. Are we ready for the next one? I believe so. Yes, uh, from uh, JWL, uh, is the snow in King's Landing just a symbol that winter is here, or does it foreshadow something else? Uh, it just seems that the snow rushed south very quickly. So this is this is a cool question from Alberta John. Uh, so is the snow in King's Landing just a symbol that the winter is here? But I think it's both. It's I think it's a it's a it's a direct representation of the fact that winter mm -hmm. is indeed here. Yes. Um, that's the whole theme of the season of last season. Anyway, you know, winter is here finally. Um, yeah. and does it foreshadow? Of course it does. It foreshadows a lot of things. It foreshadows the obvious coming war between the dead and, and the living. It foreshadows yeah. the fact for Jamie in that particular scene like that. Okay. Granted he's, he hasn't had everything, but you know, he, he had his, you know, he was sleeping with his sister again. You yeah. know, she, she, you know, she could be pregnant with his baby. She, you know, all these good things. And now he's lost that. So it's like, okay, well, I don't have easy times ahead of me. Yeah, you know? no, um, I, uh, I agree. I agree with, with you, um, how you say it, it, it could be both that it, that it's, you know, um, it's foreshadowing and it also means, you know, winter is here. I agree. Don't forget Danny's premonition, um, uh, way back in, uh, what was episode, it? season one, Three? no, when they went in, Ca in Carth. No, when she was uh, when she was walking in uh, King's Landing at the throne room, and it was snowing, and the room was destroyed, and and there was uh, a wolf. Yeah, that was the vision she had in Carth. Was it? Yeah, uh, it was I didn't, a I don't she remember. went into that temple with those weird, uh, you know. Is that what it was? It was only back in season one. Wow. I believe that was season one when they went to Carth, and she had that vision of okay. John of a white wolf on the Iron Throne. Okay, well, regardless, you know, it just this this show does great when it comes to a lot of foreshadowing, especially in the in, well, in this all season, the prophecies so. have come true. Yeah, <laughs> every prophecy has come true. Um, yeah. real quick about what he said that it seemed that winter came quickly, but yeah. we have to take into account these time jumps. Like, dude, it takes it like a month to get from castle to castle, right? And they're they're doing these these very like they're doing big jumps, massive jumps. So you have to yeah. just assume. You f it's funny because I see I see people kind of complaining about those those time jumps, but okay, but you spent six seasons with somebody on a boat for three episodes. Like, like, aren't you tired of it already? Like, well, I don't. I mean, dude, we talked about this. Do you? I mean, I don't think that I feel like they're cramming I, too much information. I love it. Look, some you know? look. I will be honest. Some stuff is some uh, some things were kind of dumb. Some of the ways they got mm. to other things and the fact that. Yeah. You know, the, um, all of a sudden one person's here and now they're over here. And it's like, OK, yeah. some of it was like, well, that was a lot at the end of season six with Varys. All of a sudden he was with the Sand Snakes with the yeah, meeting they, and they Olana, started, and then all of a sudden he's on the boat with Danny. And you got to get it in. And oh, look, I'm you got to get it in. I'll let I, it go. I, I enjoyed it, dude. I'll let it go. Since winter hasn't been um, down that you know south, down that south in, in such a long time, I don't know exactly when. Maybe some of you guys uh, can tell us maybe when the last time King's Landing had any kind of snow. Uh, we know that the weather system is very different. Well, it's been ten East years, Island. hasn't it? Um, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but I know that. Remember, I remember I the um, last winter lasted ten years. They said. Yeah, that's how it is. It can come in bunches. So I don't remember the last time you know snow actually came this this down south but who knows maybe you guys can let us know in the comment yeah. section if if you know for sure what that was but yeah um another cool question i'm glad winter's here ned stark has been saying winter is coming since episode one yep. season one so there it is all right uh yeah. let's move on uh who, who's reading this one me i believe this is you yes. okay uh so this one's gonna be from our buddy kid slap he says what happened to Beric yeah. and tormund Ooh, that's a good question. We did see the wall coming down last we saw of them. Um, I think in the end, we're going to see a lot of like how you always word it, the red shirts, a lot of red shirts dead. Um, but of course, with those two main characters, uh, I, they're escaping somehow. They could yeah. they could travel west down to um, to Castle Black. 
Remember, they're all the way on the east side of the wall by right. East Watch. Mm-hmm. So somehow they're going to get away. The message is going to get um, uh, sent. Uh, Ravens are going to be sent. Bran will already know that the wall is coming right, down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, they're great characters. Um, who knows? I mean, I think you had said with Beric and his and his. Um, Almost like his prophecy. Maybe he'll try to fulfill his prophecy by going after the Night King and die or something. But I just, def- mm-hmm. I definitely see um, them getting away, especially Tormund, because people have grown to to really enjoy his character, and uh, I think they want to see monster babies with uh, him and Brienne. Brienne yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I basically agree with you. They're, they're, yeah. I think they're fine. Although it would be interesting to like, as we come back, be like one of them be dead. Like I don't. Again, I think it would be. But then, like, like you said, they're they're too, they're too good. And Barrack Barrack is is a guy that's only been he's been weaving in and out of this story. We haven't necessarily yeah. seen him. So, but now he's taking a more prominent role, which is great because he. I, he's integral. I like his character. I think his mm-hmm. character is pretty integral in what's going on. Yeah. Although they're secondary characters, but yeah. So I, I, they're not. I don't think they're. I think they're okay, and they're going to make it out, yeah. and they're going to end think up. Bo- both of them will have. Um, if they do die, they'll definitely have some really commending um, kills. Uh, you know, for the reason if they do die, like especially Barrack. You know what I mean? If we do see him die, don't you think it's going to be something really important? Like he's going to kill something or sacrifice himself you know what i mean i think that's what i said i think yeah. he's gonna he, beric will die and he's gonna mm-hmm. do it sacrificing himself to save someone or something yeah go back to that whatever. foreshadowing thing that they're so good at and yeah exactly and mentioning that he has no more lives left because um, i love that i loved that i thought that was just really cool so. yeah i think the hound said that right uh what was his yeah. name again what was the what was the guy's name that brings him back all the time thoris thoris yeah, yeah. thoris so without him hey this is last life you know yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, move on, shall we? Moving on. Uh, All right. Let's go to question number five and, uh, from Angela. Yes. Uh, will Jamie join Tyrion and Danny? Um, this kind of goes with with like that first question there. Um, I definitely, I definitely think they will. <laughs> um, Jamie, let's. You know, I think the question is: is will Jamie bring anybody along with him? You know what I mean? Jamie, listen. Oh, uh, yeah. Jamie's improved his skills um, since he's lost his hand. But still, what is Jamie just himself going to do? Um, I mentioned this in the discussion, uh, in the live uh, uh, recording of the finale, that um, at one point Jamie was uh, planning to go north, and he did have some Lannister men with him. So will some of these guys say, hey, listen, this chick Cersei is crazy. I'm going to sneak away with, with Jamie. Uh, maybe even Braun, you know, um, would, would join. Yeah, would join um, yeah. with uh, with Jamie. Yeah, I think it's, I think Braun's going to join. Yeah, I I think I think he definitely will go to yeah. his brother. And what is that? What else is he, he going to do? He doesn't necessarily have anyone else. He doesn't know anyone else. I think Braun will probably follow yeah. him though, because it's Braun's be, like this. <laughs> what? It's going to be good, no. right? Yeah, no, no. I just think it's going to be really interesting if, if and when Jamie does join them, how Cersei is going to feel. But well, I didn't you know, you, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, but it's yeah, same. It's just you know. Now, it, f- funny note about Brom is I think it's interesting that he's a guy that would join Jamie and be like, ah, oh, fuck me, whatever, I'll go with you. But he's like, I want this. Ca- I want a castle. I want this. I want this. But he always ends up just doing it, like just. Like he can't help himself. I ha- I have to go. I got to do this. I got to do that. He's had yeah. all these little adventures around these people because they, he just was like, well, I guess I'll do it. I'm just yeah, gonna well. follow him. I'll follow him. I'll follow him. I think he likes Jamie. I think he likes Tyrion. He likes these guys. He likes them. He likes the oh, shit I that agree. they get into because it, put, it gives him a chance to fucking get put into his own shit. You know. He say look. He saved Jamie. You know. He saved Jamie. Um, I also think that listen, h- how safe will he will he be if he did in fact stay? With Cersei running the show, Cersei will have try to have Bronn executed in a, in a moment. Especially, she can point blame at him for Jamie leaving or anything like that. Any little excuse to. Right. So I don't think he'll be safe in King's Landing himself. So I think that's kind of in, inevitable, you know. Yeah. All right. So that that'll be that. Uh, let's move on to question number six. Yes. Uh, this is me reading. I'll read it. Uh, this is you. Yes. This is from Ken. Yes. And it's, do you believe Cersei is pregnant and could it be Euron's? Those are both, uh, 
good questions yeah it is what a good question it is a good question and another question that we got a few of uh by multiple people um yes um in the beginning i thought she was faking right um as the season progressed i believe that she now is and is i am not faking skept- she's not faking yes right, yeah. um but the question is could it be euron's Listen, we didn't obviously see them um, have sex or anything like that, but obviously they can they could throw this in in season eight and we would have never you know, we didn't have to see that to believe it. Um, She knows the kind of person she has with with Jamie. Right. In the end, I think it's going to be a question. It could be up in the air. It's up in the air right now. It's just theory, obviously. Um, Could it be Jamie's? And then in the future, she uses it against um, Jamie by saying it was Euron's, even though it's really Jamie's, just to fuck, piss him off or fuck him up for leaving. Yeah. You know what I mean, or something along those lines. But um, I, listen, they've been tricky with us. They, you know, they've been tricky with us. How they've been using Euron's character at the meeting in the in the Dragon Pit when he just left, and a lot of people believe that he actually did just leave. Um, you know, um, and not. Uh, head to Essos, but yeah, listen, it can go up in the air for me. Look at it this Uh, way. So when he brings, when he shows back up, right. And presents Yara and, and the, the sand snakes and stuff, right. They, that next scene is immediately when we see Cersei and Jamie hook up. What appears to be for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Okay. Cause he was surprised and she was throwing herself at him. And after that, I just assumed like they were together. So I obviously I I, I think that she is pregnant. I didn't mm-hmm. think she was ever ke- fooling because um, yeah. they made a point to show us. But at the same time, I don't think it's Euron's. I don't think she's done that. I don't think she has any any not just urge, but she has no um, inclination mm-hmm. to do anything with Euron. Like she's just gonna string him along. Like she has no yeah. intentions of letting of giving Euron anything. You know yeah. that he wants like that. So. So yeah, yeah, so so that's what I think. I, I think I think those are the things. But she's definitely she's definitely pregnant, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said in the beginning, I thought it was bullshit. But all she does, she's been. How many times did she rub her belly in this season? Well, you yeah. know what? How about this? What do you think? Do you think you think that that baby's gonna get born? I, I, here's a here's a theory I have is that it, she, Cersei's going to die. Yeah. And I think Jamie's gonna kill her. I still think Jamie's gonna kill her. But okay. the baby will be born. Either she'll die, either she'll die in childbirth, or, really? or she'll die after the baby somehow. And that baby's going to be born, and Jamie and Tyrion are going to raise it. All right. I mean, I I kind of disagree um, because listen, the Maggie Maggie the Frog prophecy said she's only going to have three kids. Um, oh, good. Oh, okay. So maybe that's so right. so Jamie's going to have to kill she, her. And could the she kid. be pregnant? And maybe she loses the baby. Listen, dude, oh, I don't think there's so much. What, what's with the babies now? And you know damn well, uh, without stretching too much and going into anything else, listen, Danny's going to have a baby. So wh- what's with all these babies now and all this kind of stuff? I don't know if they'll be able to shove all this stuff into Six season eight. And I mean, I know they said they want to make them like feature films. Uh, They're going to be long, they're good, right? And, they're going to be long. and Yeah. So who knows? But um, with with the whole Maggie the Frog thing and how they do foreshadow stuff for so many seasons. I know. And, and we so just said characters. that all their prophecies have come true. Yeah, so every damn I mean, prophecy that's like had, the, so. the the Maggie the Frog thing is the Valencar, and the Valencar means it's like the younger brother or the younger yeah. sibling. So the younger sibling could be Tyrion or Jamie, because Jamie was born after Cersei. Yeah, true. Uh, even though they're twins, so yeah, I I think that she may lose it. I mean, in the okay, end, no, dude, I, I, yeah, I think I kind of agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll see. All we'll right. see. Yeah, cool. They, they're, they're good with that kind of stuff. So let's go to um, let's go to question number seven. This is from Joe H. Uh, do you believe the um, Tyrion Targaryen theory? Um, what do you, What do you think about nope. What do you think about that? No, 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 no. he's not a Targaryen. No, I don't okay, think so. No. <laughs> There's a lot Quite of short and sweet. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't think so. There's a lot of theories, right. man. You know, like like, and I that was floating around for a long time too. It has been. I know. Um, I mean, look, it's not to say that he he couldn't. I mean, he could have Targaryen blooded him, but he's not a direct. Targaryen he's he's a he I mean listen dude I'm I mean trying to figure out the, if there's any I mean he's a dwarf did they have anything about dwarfism well, like with incest did he but then how did Targaryen Targaryens don't have like there's no 
there's nothing to say that this is true. Like, yeah, well, you there's know a lot I'm of saying? like, I, like I just said, there's a lot of theory. I know quite a bit by by listening to a lot of this stuff because, like I said, this has been going on. This question has been put out a long time. Listen, long time, yeah. this is my breakdown. There were three dragons at one point. People were saying John would fly one, Tyrion would fly one because he's Targaryen, and obviously Danny would be flying Drogon. Um, there's also the theory about the Mad King that was in love with Tywin's wife. Um, mm. And um, that's who they say, uh, you know, they had an affair, and that's what that's where that's Tyrion came says, from. Maybe that's why he says he's your no son of the, mine. Maybe the big I mean... the big thing is is that each one of their mothers died at childbirth. John's, John, Danny's, Danny's and, and Tyrion's. Tyrion's yeah. That's a cool little little clue or a little um, story that yeah. that makes the theory a little bit more enhanced for me. Mm-hmm. But listen, now we know um, Viserion is gone. He's now part of uh, a, being one of the whites. Um, there's only two dragons left. Obviously, John is going to be flying Rhaegal. Um, so I don't think there's no, another dragon for, for Tyrion to, um, to fly, but remember yeah, he just, was, yeah. he was in love. Remember the story when he first unlocked, oh, he them? loved dragons. Yeah. But, but then he talked about the story about that. All he wanted for his birthday was a dragon small yeah. like me and all this kind of stuff. So who knows what that is? I mean, yeah. it's a cool, it's a cool question. Um, it would be a cool theory, but I don't necessarily think that, listen, we just said, yeah. It's only, it's going to be six episodes. How much more? How much? They're not going to pack maybe, maybe any of that lore a book in there. thing. Listen, listen. The books are not finished. There's still two more, right? I, 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 I there's at least one more. There's at least the sixth one. I think there's I, I two. I think there's might there's, be two. I don't. I don't even know anymore, dude. Whatever. What's the what's this one supposed to be named? Do you know the title the of sixth this one? one? No. Yeah. All no, right. I well, whatever it is, but no. I think the last one is Dream of Spring. This is the seventh book. So who who knows? A lot of this stuff is going to be different in the books than what the show is putting out because the show is so much more. Well, the advanced. books now are just going to be now the books are going to be an extra for us. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. cause, and in the books there I wasn't think anything. Things still may be different. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and do it anyway. anyway. Yeah. Let's let's move on. Um, you know, theories are fun and all, but uh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's just move on from that. Yeah, I think this was, is our last one, right? From, uh, from yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got uh one more. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it's it's one more. So uh, this is, I, I'm reading this one. Uh, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is from another one of our uh, longtime viewers and buddies, Crimson Riddle. Why didn't the mountain step in front of Cersei when the White was charging her? Oh, this is this is my favorite question, I think, out of all these, because I thought that. And then after watching it again, I'm thinking, listen, um, is it I don't know I, I, who knows. But my my cool little theory is because the mountain is dead and reanimated and these whites are also dead and reanimated. He sense no. Maybe it's sense- like a walker thing. Yeah. Like a Walking Dead, if you have the guts on you and stuff, they won't. They ignore you. you. They think that you're, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, when I saw this question, I was like, oh, that's crazy because you know I I thought that myself. Um, you know, who knows? Like I said, but what, what do you think? Yeah, I, I actually agree with you. I had I yeah. I thought about that when when I saw this question posed. I was like. It's because he's dead. And if you notice, they've made him like more decayed underneath. Like his mm-hmm. his eyes are more sunken in and red, mm-hmm. and he's yeah. just more decayed. And it's like, yeah, he's he, he's um yeah it, he's a he's not a white per se, but he's undead, and oh. the the undead yeah. So I I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, yep. Yep. I think it's just gonna be crazy. It's just gonna be a sick. It's gonna be how it all comes down. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy yeah. with that. I, I, um, there's gonna be a payoff. There's definitely gonna be a payoff. I think it's gonna be bittersweet. Um, you know how the how the show ends, but without getting too much into what you know, our theories about how the end. Maybe eventually we can do like a theory video about how we think the show will end or something like that. Or if you guys have any ideas, or I think we should. Kinda... I think around halfway. I think maybe after episode three, we could do one. But listen, I have one more yeah. question that I that yes. I'm 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 gonna you're, pose to you, pose. okay, and to you guys out there. And it's it could yeah. be a fun question. But yeah. uh, who wins, uh, the Hound of the Mountain? Uh, border, 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 border. I think. Um, 
I think the Hound will get this one. Um, I believe the Mountain got sh- much stronger though with the with the uh, the, the the reanimating. As if um, he even could, right? Yeah, uh, it's kind of like the little brother getting pushed around his whole life, and it's time for payback, kind of a thing. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add on to that as an addendum. Yeah. I agree with mm. you. I I second what you're saying, and I'm gonna add on to that that he's he's also a changed man. Yeah, but that but it doesn't mean that he's still not capable of using his skill set, mm. but. His skill, like if you remember all the times he's what he he's done what he's done reluctantly. He killed that mm-hmm. kid in season one reluctantly. He the he left, boy. yeah, the butcher's boy. He left the the farmer and his daughter reluctantly. Like all mm-hmm. these things, he the, all the men, you know, even like even when he killed uh, uh who was he? Was it the the name the um brother, the brotherhood? Was he was that who he was fighting or that was the other? What was that other group? The group without a king. What were they called again? Oh, I Red forgot, the one, something. Remember the one when he was in? He was like lumberjacking. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. was that group called again? I forgot what what the group what, without a king or some some men soldiers without a king something. I can't remember. You guys yeah. can let us know. Anyway, even when he fought with them, he was like, "You want to do this? Fine, let's do this." Like, but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the point is, is that he he doesn't he's still capable of using his skill set, but he's got. Yeah. I think he's got something. I think he feels like he might have something to live for. What that is, I don't know. Oh. Maybe a I mean, budding he'll... romance with Brienne. Maybe, you know, Brienne. Maybe, maybe just being alive. Maybe fighting the Whites gives him a purpose to 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 live. Like I don't know, but I just feel he like has, he definitely has yeah, a purpose. I feel like this character has more purpose now than he did in the beginning, and 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 for and for that and for the things you said, like he he's done. He's done with his brother. He he mm-hmm. approached his brother immediately and was yeah. like. But you knew this was coming. You knew this yeah. was going to happen to you. Mm-hmm. He's like, so what you're going to get is what you're going to get. So I think, yeah, I definitely think he's going to kick his ass, and we we are definitely going to see that. We're definitely oh, I, seeing I, that. I, that's that's the, you know the, the club uh, bleh, 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 the Clegane <laughs> Bowl, yeah. um, and that's what all fans have been talking about. Um, for for seasons, you know, seasons upon seasons of the show. Um, that's one of the big. Uh, I think uh, I think the show knows how to pay the, you know the fans a little bit of a of a tribute, especially yeah. remember with Gandry and people were saying, oh, he's just rowing, and I think they even used the line. I thought you would just continue rowing, you know. Yep, I think they they did a little job. fan service, so, man. They did a little yeah, fan so the fan service, service yeah. stuff. They they give us um they give us a little shout out because yeah. they know, you know, listen, these guys know how loyal the 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 fans are, dude. Since this show has been over, um, I've had at least two or three friends that that got into it and i would tell people you know friends uh, co-workers if there's anything because listen we we all know we have we i'm sure every single one of us is guilty of of saying hey check out this show check out this show check mm-hmm. out this show and mm-hmm. it can get very annoying i think that if you're going to listen to anybody when they approach you and say listen check out check out game of thrones that's the one uh, time you, you you listen to yeah to, to that because it's just a it's a fantastic show and um you know every day i get messages from 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 friends saying oh my god what about this episode i can't believe ned is dead and um that's a big one Ned's you know dead, I mean? so it's it's a it's just a fantastic show i really hope i don't think they confirm for sure that we'll have to wait two years we don't know yet we don't know yet. But i'm sure we're gonna be waiting a year uh, it would be a year and a half at this quite point a while yeah, it'd be a year and yeah. Half. but anyway you know what look we finished season seven. Thank yes. you guys again so much for giving us your questions. Uh, we really appreciate you uh, joining in on this and being a part of this. This is awesome. This yeah. is why we do this. Um, if you didn't already know, though, Mikey, where else can they reach us if not on YouTube? If not on YouTube, you can definitely check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social medias, on Facebook. Leave us your questions. I think we got a few questions on our Facebook page. So always check that out. We post some cool stuff on Instagram also, Third Person Pod. And don't forget to, to find us on Instagram. On uh, ooh, Instagram, I said that already. Like, on um, iTunes. iTunes, Twitter. And listen to us, Twitter. Yeah, I always forget about that one. 
you know, yeah. the, the, the Twitter. It's too many of these things, man. It's too many. But we're <laughs> trying so to catch many, everyone. Yeah, we're trying to get it, everyone. But... And also, if you want to listen to this in audio form, if yeah. not on iTunes, you could also just go to thirdpersonpod.com. Also, we, we have a website that you can just yes. you can get we're there. all over the place. Yeah, Check it's all over the place. All Very right, so to that's going to do it for us here for our first Game of Thrones Q&A. Um, that's it, man. Game of Thrones is done, but we got some Walking Dead. Walking Dead, Very Fear sad. the Walking Dead, and Walking Dead is coming back. And, uh, you know, and we're throwing some other videos in the mix, too. So, Yes. Um, if there is anything that you guys would like to see us do or talk about, if there's a show that you would like us to check us out, like the, like us to check out, let us know. Write it down. Tell you yeah. guys go check this out. And if we don't do a long form uh, series of episodes on it, we'll at least do an Are You Watching or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, and if you didn't know, we have a, a series that we started called Are You Watching. Um, I did one. It was about Ozark on Netflix. It's really cool. And we want to start doing more of those too because, you know, it's just fun to share that stuff with all these other shows. So that's it. Thank you guys. We love you. And we will see you guys on the next um, episode of Third Person Podcast. So thanks. Peace.